Hey, it's your boy, Senior Ding Dong, and today we're back in 2008. I mean, why else would I be seeing a vehicle roid monster? It's the second GX character in Legends area of the Duelist is Sho Fuji. Anyway, for a brief time, he actually used the Cyber Darks, so it kind of, I guess that's why it's also relevant that the roids are in there too, so who knows. It's a mobile base earth machine type fusion effect monster level 10, zero attack, 500 defense. It requires one roid fusion monster plus one roid monster. That includes speed roids, magical android, dark gyro, I think he's the one that when he's summoned, you're, you can target one of your face up opponent monsters and they lose like 800 attack. So yeah, you can summon that. You can only use this card's name effect first effect once per turn it says this card so I'm guessing it's if you have another copy out you could use the second effect the first effect you could target one face up monster your opponent controls special summon one roid monster from your deck or extra deck whose attack is less than or equal to that monster's attack it shouldn't have said ignoring summon conditions because I think some of the roids can only be fusion summoned uh, okay, you can spell summon Sp Spiroid Terror Top, get a search out of it, so that's not bad. Once per turn during your end phase, you can target one Roid Monster in your main Monster Zone. Accept this card, return that target to the hand if you do. Move this card to the Monster Zone. That monster is in. How does a GX error, the archetype, get a link mechanic built in? I don't know, but like, I feel like the Cyber Dark one wouldn't make sense because of the packs they came in. Like, the pretty sure they came in the the Cyber Dark, yeah, obviously, IP. So, it wouldn't have made sense if they had a Link, the Link built-in mechanic, but the whole column thing, that was a bust in that time, but now it's kind of useful in some cards. I've... So, other than that, nothing much. The boy Senior, yo. 